in an epoch cloaked within the mysteries of time, where gods and titans ruled the cosmos. A solitary figure ruled a kingdom as vast and fathomless as the deep blue sea. Concealed beneath the ocean waves, shrouded in mystery, and vested with an aura of power as unpredictable as the sea itself, this figure was neither a ruthless despot nor an uncontested hero, but a divine ruler who commanded the very essence of life, water. He embraced this vast responsibility with both tempestuous might and gentle serenity, maintaining a delicate balance between bounty and destruction. His name, Poseidon, the mighty and enigmatic god of the sea. Welcome back to Epic Mythos, where we delve into the timeless realms of mythology, reigniting ancient wisdom for your modern journey. Poseidon's journey to power is a tale as turbulent as the sea he controlled. Born to the Titan Cronus and Rhea, his destiny was set on a perilous course from the moment he drew his first breath. His father, Cronus, consumed by the fear of a prophecy that foretold his downfall at the hands of his own children, swallowed Poseidon and his siblings whole. Yet destiny has a way of charting its own course, and the prophecy couldn't be thwarted. Zeus, the youngest child, avoided the same fate and proceeded to rescue his siblings, including Poseidon, from the belly of their oppressive father. Once freed, Poseidon joined his brothers and sisters in a cataclysmic battle against the Titans. This battle, known as the Titanomachy, saw the Olympians emerge victorious. In the aftermath of their victory, the three brothers, Zeus, Poseidon and Hades, divided the cosmos among themselves. Poseidon's lot fell to the swirling blue-green expanse of the sea. With his powerful trident, a gift from the mighty Cyclopes, he claimed his watery domain, a realm as mysterious and volatile as the god himself. Assuming his new role as the god of the sea, Poseidon's dominion wasn't limited to the vast oceans. His power extended over all bodies of water, from the smallest streams to the most expansive oceans, embodying both their life-giving properties and their capacity for devastation. Poseidon's character was as fluctuating as the sea he ruled. Known for his mighty temper and vengeful nature, his wrath could stir the seas into a terrifying frenzy, causing shipwrecks and drowning its inhabitants. But he was not always a god of destruction. When appeased, Poseidon could be incredibly generous, ensuring safe passage for seafarers, filling fishermen's nets to the brim, and blessing the Greeks with sturdy ships that could navigate the treacherous Mediterranean waters. Although Poseidon's influence was not only over the water, as the earth shaker, he wielded his trident to cause earthquakes, reminding everyone of his overwhelming power. He created horses from the cresting waves, gifting the world a companion known for both its grace and strength. His connection to these noble creatures symbolized his own untamed power and fierce independence. The god of the sea was also revered as a deity of navigation and maritime trade. Sailors and fishermen would pray to Poseidon for a calm journey and bountiful catch, providing offerings to gain his favor. Thus, Poseidon played a central role in the lives of the ancients, who relied heavily on the sea for sustenance and exploration. Poseidon's influence on the Greeks extended to their survival and prosperity. Coastal and seafaring communities especially revered the god, understanding his power over their livelihood and their lives. His temples dotted the coastline, the magnificent edifices standing testament to his mighty power. Even today, his influence can be seen in the countless archaeological remnants of his worship and the stories that the ancient Greeks penned inspired by the mighty Earthshaker. Within the ocean's unmeasured breadth and unfathomable depths, Poseidon, too, sailed the tumultuous seas of love and discord. His voyage of passion was charted not by stars, but by the luminescent gaze of Amphitrite, a resplendent Nereid, and the cherished grandchild of the Titan Oceanus. Their tale was not of love swiftly anchored, but rather a complex narrative that ebbed and flowed like the ceaseless sea tides. Poseidon was enraptured by the sight of Amphitrite, her beauty as radiant as a sunrise over still waters, her grace swirling with the elegance of dancing waves, and her spirit as steadfast and enduring as the mighty tide itself. 
love as vast and consuming as the sea, seized Poseidon at first sight. But his quest to make Amphitrite his queen was a journey fraught with daunting waves and maelstroms. Amphitrite, in her embodiment of the sea's wild freedom, initially deflected Poseidon's earnest advances. Yet Poseidon, the unyielding sea itself, found his pursuit fueled by this resistance. His heart pulsed with the rhythm of the relentless sea waves, forever striving to reach the shore to embrace the land. Undeterred by Amphitrite's refusal, his godly tenacity embarked on a relentless pursuit, a pursuit as steadfast as the ceaseless currents. The sea echoed with Poseidon's determined quest, resonating with a marine symphony. It was Delphin, the divine lord of dolphins, who proved instrumental in bridging the divide between Poseidon and Amphitrite. Delphin, with his gentle persuasion, conveyed the depth of Poseidon's love to Amphitrite, successfully doing what the Sea Lord could not. Touched by Poseidon's unwavering ardor and moved by Delphin's words, Amphitrite yielded to Poseidon's love, accepting her place by his side as his queen. Their union was far more than a divine marital accord. It encapsulated the intrinsic bond between the sea's tumultuous persona and the vibrant life it cradled within its depths. Amphitrite, now queen, personified the exuberance of marine life, underscoring the unity of Poseidon's realm and illuminating the interconnected dance of the sea's creatures with the capricious whims of the ocean. The couple symbolized the harmonic balance of power and dynamism, a testament to the ceaseless ebb and flow that governed their oceanic realm. Their children, Triton, Rhode and Benthesicheim, each bore aspects of their maritime domain, adding to the sea's rich, mythic tapestry. Poseidon and Amphitrite's love story is as deep and endless as the ocean itself, a testament to love's relentless pursuit and the profound bond between the sea and its myriad life. The symbols intertwined with Poseidon's legacy eloquently articulate his divine essence. Immortalizing his dominion and attributes, central among these is his trident, a tri-pronged spear that stands as an unyielding testament to his dominion over the sea. It serves as a representation of his profound ability to sow both tranquility and tempests within the water's undulating depths, echoing his dual nature of creation and destruction. In the realm of living symbols, the horse emerges from the sea foam, a noble and powerful creature conceived by Poseidon's divine intervention. It captures the essence of his seismic might and his restless, stormy temperament, embodying the divine force that could coax both grace and disaster with a simple flick of his trident. Finally, the bull, his sacred animal, manifests the raw strength and fecundity that Poseidon embodies. It mirrors the nurturing capabilities of his domain, an emblem of the fertile potential that thrives beneath the surface of his realm. The bull stands as a symbol of life's relentless vitality, much akin to the sea's enduring capability to harbor life within its salt-laced depths. Each symbol linked to Poseidon paints a vivid portrait of his vast, multifaceted character. They serve as potent reminders of his awe-inspiring prowess and his boundless reign over the world's most formidable and mysterious expanse, the sea. As we bid farewell to Poseidon's realm, we carry forward the understanding of his dual nature. Much like the sea, tranquil yet tempestuous, gentle yet mighty. Poseidon's tale serves as a reminder of the compelling forces that shape our world, the very forces that we must respect and acknowledge. We hope this journey through the life and legacy of Poseidon has inspired you as it has countless others through millennia. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us. Until our paths cross again in the realm of myths and legends, remember to stay curious, stay inspired, keep exploring, and may your journey be as enriching as Poseidon's tale.